Hello and welcome to another video of the Cat Indian channel feature. This video is part of segment for MBA 101 course, Introduction to Marketing. In this video, we will discuss the product adaptation lifecycle. In a previous video, we discussed about the product lifecycle. If you're studying for a university course or an MBA course, it is certain that you'll have questions from this topic in your exam. I will also attach notes and other reference material which will help you get more information on this topic. Now diving straight onto the video, let's pull a graph from the last segment, the product life cycle. During the product life cycle, we discussed about the four stages. Here we will be looking at these stages of adaptation category in conjunction to the product life cycle. The adaptation group are mainly identified as Number one, innovators. Number two, early adopters. Number three, early majority. Number four, late majority. And number five, laggards. I prefer to relate the topic that I learned to a real life example. This simplifies understanding and also enhances faster recollection. If you've watched my other videos, the real world examples I like to use is something that I've had a first hand experience on. For this video, I will be using my business example of iHappy Novelties and Gifts, a business venture that I started with my friends and which was really successful. iHappy Novelties used to sell sound activated light up t-shirts at concerts and events. We were doing extremely well in sales and pondered on launching a new product. We brainstormed to manufacture light up sunglasses that can be programmed using a cell phone. We then decided to pitch this idea on Kickstarter, which is a crowdsourcing marketplace. At this stage, we were targeting the innovators, which is the stage number one. Kickstarters is a website that uses its platform to fund new innovative ideas. Majority of the Kickstarter users are innovators and willing to take the risk in purchasing the product. This adopter group are willing to take risks, have the highest social status, have financial liquidity, are social and have closest contact to scientific sources and interaction with other innovators. This group is relatively small market, eager and are inquisitive to try new products. This group is extremely important to trial the products and give us constructive feedback to revise the product before the next phase of the product cycle. At this point, since we had to come up with a huge R&D cost, we decided to mark the product relatively higher. We were aware that this group is interested in getting exclusive products. Hence, we decided to customize the glasses, meaning anyone that purchases the glasses would receive custom etched product with their names or the company names on it. Remember our first video about using marketing mix implication? The strategy for this group was as follows. Product, customized product, where you can get your names etched on the glasses. Price. Skimming price strategy, meaning marking products high for high profit margin. I will be detailing skimming on another video. Next, we look at the early adopters. This group is more discreet in adoption choices than innovators. They have the highest degree of opinion leadership amongst the adopter categories. Once we had the sunglasses launched, we targeted the early adopter group. Since we knew we had no competition, we continued to keep the price high and targeted the concerts and events where many people are considered to make the impulse buy. We're going to move ahead describe the early majority stage, which transmutes during the growth stage of the product life cycle. Remember, this category is intended to constitute roughly 34% of this category, making it one of the most important focus for sales and growth. This group adopt an innovation after a varying degree of time that is significantly longer than the innovators and early adopters. In terms of explaining this with the iHappy sunglasses, we started targeting consumers on basis of market segmentation. Market segmentation is also explained in another video of this segment. Apart from Kickstarter, we started selling the sunglasses on our website and premium DJ stores. We still wanted to maintain exclusivity, hence the price skimming strategy of maintaining high prices were sustained. Also take an example of Samsung phones. When Samsung first introduces its new phone, it comes with an expensive price tag because it comes with features 
that have no competition and the products are targeted for early adopters and early majority. They then drop the prices as the features become a norm with other products. The marketing mix for sunglasses was modified as follows. Product. An app feature to download different patterns were added. Price. Maintained at high level if the demand was high or reduced to capture additional customers. Distribution. Website and premium DJ stores. Promotion. Increased ads through Google advertising using demographics and psychographic market segmentation. Within the maturity phase, another set of adopters that constitute to another 34% of the category would be the late majority. This group adopted innovation after the average participant. These individuals approach an innovation with a high degree of skepticism and after the majority of the society has adopted the innovation. Using this information, our business group started targeting audience by using YouTube stalwarts. We used YouTube celebrities to endorse our product to reduce customer skepticism. During this stage, we spent a huge amount of our revenues for marketing. We used Facebook ads, Google algorithms, which targeted using market segmentation. The goal was to maintain the market share and extend the product life cycle. We also got additional distributors and retailers on board and used market penetration with lowering pricing to ward off any competitors. The marketing mix was modified again as follows. Product. Upscale packaging with YouTube celebrity endorsement. Price. Price reduction in response to competition while avoiding a price war. Distribution. New retailers and distributors. Promotion. Celebrity endorsements. Next, we move on to the last and the final stage with a decline stage and the adopter category would be lug arts. Lug arts. What a weird name. The meaning of this term is tend to lag. The adopter category was publicized by Everett Rogers, a professor of communication studies in 1962. Sometimes I like to associate the learning material with times and era as it creates a memorial foundation and really helps in shifting focus within your subconscious. During this stage, we saw our sales began to fall. We knew that the product created were a fad and we had competitions from China and other countries. This adopter group will only buy products when it's absolutely required and when it is the norm. To target this group, we initiated rave events where you need to have these glasses to attend the events. We had to lower our prices to liquidate existing products. We also started selling the product on eBay and Amazon at a discounted price. During this stage, the marketing mix was modified one last time as follows. Product. Rejuvenate the product packaging to make it new again. Price. Price is lowered to liquidate inventory. Distribution. Sell products on all platform. eBay, Amazon, retail, distribution, retailing, etc. Promotion. Reinforce brand image for continued product by stating some discounts for additional products on the website. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you need additional information or script for your notes, please don't hesitate to drop me a comment or contact me on my email. There are other videos on the MBA 101 course. Feel free to watch them. Subscribe to view the entire library. This is Can Indian Channel signing off. Peace.